So I um, was fortunate in my journey to um, travel with an elder who was from Nitnat, and his name was Heliqui. And he um, gifted myself and the spirit drummers with a song called the Ancestor Song. And it came to him, this dream vision, where he saw the elders of all the symbolic nations, white, red, yellow, and black. And they were coming from all directions and getting into one canoe and traveling together. Respect and, and restore what we can with Mother Earth. We need to work together. You know. And so I was saying to Alpin, part of what I'd like to do tonight is sing his song because it calls in all our ancestors from all the directions, and I think that we need to have them represented here, so. So this is the ancestor song. Ah, uh, he ago I went in as an observer to the standoff at Oka. 25 years ago I was with my daughter on the lines at Quaker. Things haven't changed very much have they? I threatened to go down and lay in front of a bulldozer in Kinder Morgan but I thought maybe in the tradition of artists from way back and many better artists than myself but to speak out and to say what needs to be said in the form of art, paintings, installation. If I was a writer, I'd be writing, but instead I put together this installation. I have to thank Pat Mullen for the music that he put together with some of his collection, some of mine. It has voices in there of elders, a beautiful piece by Isabel by Rakhadarian, a refugee from Lebanon and Syria. Uh, people from all over the world, recordings of lost tribes of the Amazon. And in this exhibition or installation, I've drawn on tradition of many different things, loosely based on the Requiem, which is a mass said in remembrance in the Catholic Church what could be said in any church, religion, spiritual thing, of whatever, your, whatever your feelings are, whatever your spirit leads you. Uh, and just to ask people to think about where we're going, what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, and uh, like Rochelle asks us to look at the beauty of small things, we also need to look at the beauty and try to protect the beauty of these small things. We have collect, I collect things that maybe people find a little strange, like bones of animals, and feathers, but that to me these are reminders of the other things we share the earth with that we should be more respectful of. The story of the stag's head there, he was on his way to the dumpster. And I couldn't bear the thought of something that had once been alive and beautiful and so regal, who was now had his head cut off, been stuffed, hung on a wall, and then when he became tatty and the fur was coming out, he was going to be tossed. So I thought, I'm going to take you home and make you into something beautiful again. Anyways, so I hope that you will enjoy 
the exhibition. I hope you will think about what I'm trying to say and uh, that, that's about it. <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so thank you very much for coming out this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you.